No, it's impossible. There we go. Don't want to run off so many suspects, but I can't keep playing the impossible either. I agreed it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to get to the station to see you in that time. Ha ha! I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again, but I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey Head barred the way. At around 2.15, strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I'd like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. So that that's just a po What's the point of that extra bit of cross-examination other than, yes, we had a break. Why not just have him say, it was a break at 2.30, and then... Edgeworth goes, but that means they still couldn't have come. Like, what's the point in having the, the extra cross-examination? It's just dumb. <laughs> Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the set steel samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we, that we indeed have a decisive evidence. A witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewed the victim. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. The court is adjourned for recess. <sighs> well, I'm not taking the damage now that I knew that, now I knew the trap there. So I have to think that there are potentially going to be other times like that in this game, where uh, there's nothing I can do to progress the game other than just wait, basically. Hmm, what do we do now, Mia? Everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. But Mia? Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. And that's all there is. Um, uh, well, what's going to happen to me? kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us, and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Hero to children everywhere, after all. I. You. Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Cody and court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Prosecution has a concern. The witness is a great school in this murder case. We worry the defense might cause unnecessary trauma. This is called questioning. Uh, however, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. Your Honor, perhaps we, you could arrange a box. Oh, oh right, oh right. God, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do it. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. Cody? Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I have a feeling this is going to be a long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Witness? Uh, I mean, Cody having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present. Uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just let Mr. Redgeworth be fine. I prefer bearded gentlemen myself. A very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in the courtroom. 
M m my apologies, Your Honor. Uh, he said he would testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had, a bo you had to bargain terms with a kid and lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet, but I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix? I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. Yes. You better make a note of it in the call record. That's my thing! He takes the pictures! Please testify to the court about what you saw. Right, so we know the bit that's r that we challenge here, which is, I didn't have the camera with me. Um, we'll skip over this, because we've just looked at this. Got an this came out by studio, it totally rocked. Of course, it's your summary took me down, power. If I had my camera with me, that would have been time for shot. Right, but we know that that's wrong, because we've just done that. Very well, the defense may begin the cross-examination, but be gentle, remember you're talking to a child. It's tougher than most adults we see in here. Tougher than Edgeworth. Right. I wanted to see still, blah blah blah, found a map on the internet, just going to the studio, got kind of lost, came out, there was the right. Of course, if I had my camera with me, that would have been time for a shot. But you always carry it with you. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh, is I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? Uh, it's um, a, a digital camera. Uh, you run it. It's a kind of new sort of camera. How do I explain that? Well, it doesn't use film. I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Objection! Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in the court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What? 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 Yeah, so I, I had my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? Did you take a picture while you were there? You, you did have a camera. Did you use this camera? W why would I use it? I I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. What he saw. So, all right. I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. Still samurai. He goes for the bad guy. Wham. Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the Steel Samurai rules. Hmm. Ah, is that, is that all? Well, that, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. I don't want to just indiscriminately press, because I suspect Edgeworth will then chime in. I had my camera with me. I was glued to the action. Right, what have we got? Taking photos of every victory scene. That's the thing. It's like... He goes to the bad guy, wow. Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Okay, do I present, do I challenge here? No. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. Does? I don't see anything contradictory. Objection of the world. Try to think before. No, I am thinking. Don't, don't insult me like this game. I am thinking. Like, he had every victory scene he takes a picture of. Here is the victory scene. Oh, I didn't take a picture. It makes perfect sense. Then the bad guy stopped moving. That's what we've just talked about. I'm going to press. Maybe that's what I'm meant to do. So the bad guy attacked him first. Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you. A person. Uh, he was a person. How was he dressed? Hmm. I kind of don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. Uh, and what happened next? Okay, we're just going to press. Then the bad guy stopped moving. So... Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because well, the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? Uh, how, how did he do that? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch. Samurai chop. Samurai slap. Something like that. Still being, but I didn't see it. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. 
How should I play this? Wait and see what happens. Yeah. If I press too hard now, the judge might keep me from continuing. I'll sit back and see how the rest of this goes. It's so strong with Steel Samurai rules. I think that his count doesn't seem right. Phoenix? It doesn't seem right because he's because he's being deliberately vague. Press him on the facts, find out what he saw. Yeah. I can't remember anything, but I was glued to the action. He didn't actually see it, did he? So Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham. Now, we've already challenged that one. I think I do have to prep. No. Good to see I can take my eyes off him. So you're watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Y yeah, of course. You didn't turn away. Not even once. N n no Okay, and tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I I'm getting to that. Okay, so we get round to here. He goes for the bad guy, which we were then the bad guy stops me. Right, we're gonna have to challenge this. Press a bit harder. Why? Huh? What do you mean why? Uh, why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the steel samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? H how did he do that? With a samurai kick, samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap. S something like that. Right, yeah. Still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. Yeah, so I need to press... Cody? W what? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah? So, so, so what? Yet you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Objection! You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. Oof. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight, but you missed the most important part, the killing blow. You always take a picture. Order, order, Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing, Phoenix. I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? Was he looking for his camera? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Show evidence. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Uh, he was looking for his camera. I think that's the one. Take that! Yeah, here's my proof. Proof? Uh, um, can I do that again? What? No, but he always takes a picture of the final blow. He always takes a picture of the final blow. So why didn't he take a picture of this one? This doesn't prove anything. It does. He always. <laughs> this is. Ah. ah, lost your nerve, have you? Very well, I'll ask you the question again. He was watching... What else was there to watch? Is there any evidence it could have been? This is so annoying because this is clearly evidence of... Right, he always takes a photo. So it makes sense that, you know, he's dropped his camera. That, like, that's a little kind of narrative you can present. He dropped the camera because he was going, he wanted, and he wanted to try and take a picture of the final victory scene, but he, he dropped his camera. He goes down to, to take, to get his camera, but it was too late. Why wouldn't he watch it? He couldn't watch it. This doesn't make any sense! It's not the camera. He was learning how to use the camera. He was going to take the final picture, but didn't know how to use this camera. Okay, that's what it is then. I think. Here's my proof. Watch that! The camera? The witness stated he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. It's so annoying. 
it's so annoying because I'm going to argue from the fact he t always takes a picture of the final blow, which is what the other thing was meant to prove, but... He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What? What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero. It's almost like he gave me evidence saying that, that I could present in a court of law. Not take a picture. I mean, I had the... I had the right argument, I just didn't present the right thing. Cody? There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet, so you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. R right. Yeah, it means business. Your Honor, uh, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. V very well. Cody? Could you please tell us about your camera, and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Hmm. Welcome to the real world, kid. No photo. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Th that's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. Hey, anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. All right. Let's let's go through this kind of methodically. You're right. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture. So even if it was Will Powers, he was being, you know, there's an argument for self-defense. He he uses something, happens to. I held my camera, but the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. So, okay, I'm going to press on this one. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh, I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely. Now, the problem with that is, because he's being vague about that as well, is Edgeworth could say, oh, it's because he was injured. But is it because it was someone else in the costume? Okay, so that's not something I can ch I can press on either. Hold up my... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. 